mankind next beautiful attribute exclusive attribute of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam which was never shared with any prophet and any messenger raised by almighty allah and that was that almighty allah swears by the life of holy prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam in quran he takes oath of the life of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam almighty allah swears by his life and he says la amruka innahum lafi sakratihim ya'manun oh my beloved prophet i swear by your life this is what allah says i swear by your life abdullah ibn abbas says and the same has been related by abu huraira radiyallahu ta'ala anhu they say ma halaf allah subhanahu bi hayat ahad illa bi hayat sayyidina muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the companions say that almighty allah has never ever sworn by the life of any of the prophets and messenger except the life of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam then next distinctive and exclusive attribute was provided to holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in the form that not only allah swears by his life the next attribute is that almighty allah swears by his city of birth the city of makka where he was born the city of makka where he was brought up and the city of makka where he 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 walks in the streets almighty allah swears by their city of makka just for the sake of holy prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he never swears by the city of any other prophet he never swears by the city of nu he never swears by the city of ibrahim he never swears by the city of musa he never swears by the city of isa the quds but when comes the matter of makka he swears the city of by the he swears by city of makka not just because there is kaaba and house of allah he does not swear makka because this is city is the place of hajj and pilgrimage he does not swear by makka just because there is al hajar ul aswad he does not swear by makka just there is a safa and marwa he does not swear by makka that in its vicinity there is arafat and there is muzdalifa and there is mina he says my prophet my beloved what i have to do why would i swear by the cities why would i swear by the mountains why would i swear by the streets i swear this city of makka only for the reason that you were born here and you live here la uqsim bi hadha al balad Quran says in Surah Al-Balad la uqsimu bi hadha al-balad wa anta hillum bi hadha al-balad I swear by this city Makkah not for any other reason only for the sake of your presence in this city this is another exclusive attribute of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam then there is another attribute A special attribute that here was that Allah swears by His life. The next attribute is that Allah swears by His city. Another attribute is that Allah swears at forty places in Holy Quran just for sake of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and for the sake of His station. I have written a book in Arabic. كشف الغطاء في معرفة الأقسام للمصطفى. And I have quoted forty verses of Holy Quran where Almighty Allah has sworn for Holy Prophet for His sake. 